Hey, this is Craig at Let's Start Talking. This is a brief tutorial about using your uh, team budget worksheet on Smartsheet. You probably received an email from somebody at Let's Start Talking that had a link in it to Smartsheet. And there you uh, just created an account, free account with them. And then it should have brought you in to a place, uh, probably a workspace, where your team is listed and we've got some documents for you there. You won't see all these teams here. This is our side, a little bit more administrative side. So on your side, you should just see the one place where we've loaded things for you. So I'll go ahead and open uh, just the template that we have here and show you a few things about how to use it. It should be fairly simple for you. In this section here, you've got your um, budget. Uh, divided by category, the amounts. Um, it will record the total of the expenses as you go along and tell you how much you've got left as you go along. And the rest of this worksheet just works across. So in this area here is where you enter expenses. And so you just pick the date, you pick the category. You have to choose whether that was a US dollar expense or a local currency expense and then you can make a note and that's all you have to do and it starts to pull that over here into the um, summary area and, and doing the calculations for you okay so any expenses you have you just enter them in here the main thing to remember is you've got to tell it whether it was a US expense or if it was local then you enter it here but you just go along in rows and enter your expenses the next section over is a place to record any exchanges you made. And so if you exchanged from U.S. to local, then you just put the date in here, how much you exchanged in U.S. and how much local you received back. As with most of our accounting, you don't have to record uh, fees or anything like that, just strictly how much you gave them, how much you got back. And that then, again, will start to show up over here in your local currency area. Um, then, same thing here. If you need to exchange back to US dollars, typically towards the end of your project, you're picking the date, how much local you exchange, how much you got back. And then in the rare case that you've got some income during your project, uh, you've got the same fields working here, a date field, uh, you can pick an income category, perhaps workbook sales, whether you got this in U.S. dollars or local local currency, uh, and then you can make a note if you need to. So uh, you're just working down in each section, uh, working down as you come across those expenses or income. And all the math is being done for you over here, and so you should be able to regularly know uh, it'll tell you how much U.S. and local you should have on hand. You should be able to count and reconcile pretty easily every day. Uh, there's a couple fields here. You don't need to worry about this office use only. We'll take care of that. At the end of your project, when you are done, if you'll just indicate that right here, that will let us know when we look at this online that you are done and that we can download a copy of it for our own, own records and just mark that it's completely done. So that's really all that you need to remember. Um, you've got your budget, and then you come across this is where you'll this is what you'll use most often is you're just entering your expenses, and then other kinds of uh, transactions you may have as far as exchange, into local currency, out of local currency, and then some income. You probably know. Please don't enter. Uh, try to enter new. Uh, insert new columns or new rows into this, it may disturb the formulas. So because it's online, we have access to it as well. And so we can fix any problems uh, for you. Just let us know. We hope this is easy to use on any mobile device. It's made for that. You might check to see if your mobile, mobile device has the app. Smartsheet has some apps that go along with it as well. All right. Well, uh, let's be in touch. Uh, at, as you have any questions about this. Thanks a bunch. Bye.